Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, Coach Vietor. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, Coach, uh, we have a few questions in the queue, but before we get to that, um, can you just start us off by talking about last week's game against Idaho? Uh, it was a good game, and, uh, you know, give Idaho credit. Uh, you know, we fell behind again for the third straight week, and uh, Idaho was doing a really good job on both sides of the football, and it really took it to us. And uh, give our kids a lot of credit. You know, we came back and had the ball at the three-yard line there when – the end of the game to tie it up, you know, with about 30 seconds left, and Idaho stopped us. But I uh, give Idaho a lot of credit. Well, they did a really good job. They didn't turn it over, uh, played good field position football, solid football. We made a couple mistakes, and we certainly paid for it. So they excited about the uh, opportunity to play App State. Uh, I'm a big fan, always have been, back to my FCS days. I love the way they play. I like the way that their football team is built. I mean, their team is built on speed. They play hard. They can run the football. They stop the run. And uh, they just have a chance to win every game. I think you can do that. Really impressed with Lamb. Always have been. I think he's a winner. Just does a lot of things the way they should be done. And uh, I think his, one of the things I've been noticing here the last couple of days and watching him, one thing that's, I guess, been overrated by me is his toughness, how tough the young man is and the, the, the hits that he's taken this year. And he just keeps, you know, he just keeps getting up and, and going back at you, but um, defensively solid football team. So we know we have a really good team coming in here to uh, to play us here at ULM. But uh, we're looking forward to the challenge. Coach, thank you very much. We'll go to questions now from Ethan Joyce with the Winston Salem Journal. Coach, you know, just looking at this game, it's against one of the teams that's leading the conference right now. I know you guys are, you know, three straight losses. So how are you? How are you viewing this one just in regards to the, the whole scheme of the season? Well, really, I mean, every game's been tough, Ethan, so, I mean, we're looking at it the same. I mean, we know that App State is undefeated and, you know, and sort of, I mean, certainly a very, very good football team. But, you know, really, I think in the stage we are right now, what we're trying to do here in year two, I mean, it's mostly about us. I mean, trying to play as good as we can play and, be as good as prepared as we can be, and hopefully we can do that, then, you know, we'll have a chance. But that's the first thing that has to happen is um, we have to play better. We have to get off to a better start. In the last three weeks, we've been behind double digits in the first quarter in every game, and it's just hard to – we've come back in every game, but, I mean, it's hard to it's hard to get behind like that. And, you know, you get behind a team like App State that can run the ball and as good as they can run it and uh, the way they take care of the football, and we know we're going to be in trouble if that happens. Yeah, just the way they've kind of produced points this year and when they've done them, is it – I guess how does it affect the way you you plan for them just kind of knowing the, that they have scored late in fourth quarters, that they have been down and kind of come back up? Um, it doesn't really change the preparation, so to speak, and what we're trying to do. I mean, we're trying to look for the best ways we think that, that we have to attack their offense and their defenses and their special teams we're kind of looking at. But, I mean, certainly I'm aware of it. And, uh you know, we'll make our players aware, our players aware of it for sure. But I think it's just that championship pedigree they have. And, you know, they're never out of any game. And uh, they just keep battling and battling. And, uh, and the thing that's impressive about it, too, and like I said, I'm a big App State fan and how they do it is when you watch them, they just continue to do what they do. They don't panic. You know, they just continue to run their offense. Uh, you know, they may throw it more than they run it like they did against uh, Idaho toward the end of the game. But, they don't change a lot of what they're doing. They just keep doing what they're doing, and I think that gives them a chance at every game. 